Welcome back to another episode of We're Talking Money. I'm Dustin Hawken, Wealth Advisor here at Omnistar Financial Group, and I'm very excited to introduce our guest for the show today, Aaron Koenig, Mortgage Broker at Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group. Aaron has been in the mortgage industry since 2015, and I'm very excited to get his thoughts on the current interest rate environment and the housing market and what he's seeing firsthand. Aaron, welcome. I appreciate it, Dustin. It's a pleasure to be here. I know we've talked about doing this for a couple months now, so I'm glad to finally be up here. And, you know, with um, everything going on in the mortgage industry, this will be some good conversation today. Yes, absolutely. And this is a great time to be filming as the Fed has just raised rates again in December. We're not sure what they're going to do in January yet, uh, but I'm very interested to hear your perspective. Absolutely. Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group, LLC, NMLS 72043, NMLSconsumeraccess.org is equal opportunity lender located at 600 Lynn Haven Parkway, Suite 203, Virginia Beach, Virginia, 23452. So to start off, Aaron, just in general, what have you been seeing in your industry in, say, 2022 and then into 2023 with these rises in interest rates from the Fed? So it's been a ride. Um, you know, as the Fed has raised their rates, uh, we've seen mortgage rates increase as well. In 2022, we saw the highest increase in mortgage rates that we've seen in general within one year, and we definitely felt it. During the previous few years, you know, we saw historically low mortgage rates. We were seeing very low inventory, a large pool of buyers, and it really just facilitated a strong seller's market. Home prices skyrocketed, which really it forced a lot of buyers out of the market because now homes were selling for well over asking price. And, you know, over this past year during 2022, with rates increasing the way they did, we're starting to see the market cool off quite a bit. We're seeing homes sit on the market now for weeks or even over a month, two months, where last year a home wouldn't sit for more than a few days typically. And for what it is, I think that's really going to help a lot of the buyers that were priced out of the market last year. And even though home prices have slowed this year, they are still up and we are still in a seller's market. Here in Wilmington, we're insulated a little bit in the market being at the beach. Lots of people are moving here. It's it's a place you want to move to. um, And we're starting to see the market cool. So I'm sure it's cooling much more rapidly in other places of the country. But I'm interested to know, even here, have mortgage, uh, new mortgages slowed, have refinances slowed. What are you seeing there? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, mortgage applications are definitely down this year. And as far as refinances, I mean, they've pretty much come to a stop, except for unique situations like, let's say, a divorce, um, where that's the only way you can get the X off of the loan. Uh, would be through a refinance. We also see it occasionally for maybe debt consolidation. Um, And here and there, we are still seeing people pull out money on their homes to do renovations um, if it makes sense for their situation. So with mortgages and refinances slowing, are clients hesitant to purchase new homes? You know, I have seen some buyers who are a little hesitant to buy because of the interest rate, but I always remind them that they can always refinance in the future once rates do cool off. I try to explain, you, you want to think of this payment and these rates as temporary because they will go down. And when rates do go down, we can refinance and you'll save some money. Even though home prices are not increasing like they did between 2020 and 2022, they are still up year over year. So at the end of the day, it's still an increase. Well, and it's very interesting as well, because you think of where interest rates are going and and people feel like it's high. And yes, it is high compared to what it has been the the last couple of years. But if you actually look historically at interest rates, it's actually still not a bad time. Yeah. And, you know, if you look at at interest rates historically over, let's say the last 40 years, in the scheme of things, we're still at a low. What are you seeing as the biggest challenge that your clients specifically are facing right now? So I would say really inventory is one of the main issues. You know, at the end of the day, inventory is still low and we are still in a seller's market. I think we'll find some alleviation for our buyers and clients as more inventory hits the market. Um, you know, builders are building. They haven't, they didn't want to stop, but you know, supply chain issues did throw some wrenches and everything. We're, you know, we're seeing new inventory come on the market. So as that increases, that's really going to help a lot of the buyers that are just trying to enter the market at this point. So I know specifically here in Wilmington, there's not a lot of inventory, but what are you seeing in other parts of the state of North Carolina? You know, you'll, you'll see these little pockets here and there. Maybe inventory is a little higher, but all said and done, inventory is low across the U.S. So that's that really is a driving factor in issues for buyers. And it's also, it was the driving factor in what drove up home prices last year. Interesting. So what about just the overall economy? Do you feel like the economy is starting to slow enough 
to, to bring back inflation. I know that's the Fed's goal of rising these rates to slow home purchases, slow the economy down. Is it working? I'd say, you know, it seems like we're starting to head in that direction. During the week before last, the jobs report showed strong new job creations. Unemployment was low, but wages were lower than expected. This really can bring up a debate on can inflation go away without causing too much harm to the jobs market? Time will tell and let's let's hope so. Thursday CPI inflation report came out last week. It came in as expected that inflation is starting to slow. So we've now seen disinflation, not to be confused with deflation, which all said and done, it should help mortgage rates out. So what's the difference there with disinflation and deflation? So disinflation um, is we're not seeing a rise in inflation where deflation would be a reduction in inflation. Things are getting better, but they're not quite where we need them to be. So I know we talked about how clients are feeling and then they're certainly hesitant about what's going on, but do you feel like it's a good time for clients to finance a home? So, you know, rates are always going to ebb and flow. And with inventory still being low, we're still going to see an increase in home values. It's not going to be like we saw in the past, but it's still, there's still going to be an increase. Um, so at the end of the day, there's still equity to be built. And, you know, look at it this way. If rates were to increase from where they are right now, buyers are going to be glad that they locked in when they did. Well, if they go down in that same time frame, they can always refinance. Mm -hmm. Basically a win-win regardless. But if you can build up equity create, we talk, always talk about in wealth management, the portfolio, right? Well, real estate needs to be a section of that portfolio. And, you know, there's never going to be a perfect, perfect time to buy. Maybe a couple of years ago it was right, yeah. <laughs> if you, if you could get something, but at that time too, the prices were skyrocketing, but, but rates were low, but there is equity to be found and that can really help the wealth management plan. What are your plans in your real estate portfolio? So my wife and I, you know, we, we really do plan on buying a new primary home this year. Um, and that way we can start renting out our existing home. We've outgrown that place. So it, it's just time to move on. You know, even though rates are higher, I still think now is a good time. So, you know, we're going to make that decision and probably make that soon. Um, and, you know, again, if rates go down, we'll just refinance. So it's not that big of a deal. You know, ideally we would love to add a condo probably in Carolina beach, but any of the beach towns around here that we can start doing short-term rentals. Mm -hmm. um, I just see that as such a great opportunity and we're still in a market that can su support those short-term rentals. So I say jump on that. It's very interesting because what you hear is what, what a lot of clients are thinking is they're hesitant. They're not quite sure if now's the right time, but from someone like you in the industry, expanding your real estate portfolio, even though rates may be going up. I mean, that really says a lot. And hopefully our viewers are getting a lot out of that. So as we wrap up here, I'd love to get your top takeaways uh, of what you feel like buyers in the area, what should they know for, for Wilmington, North Carolina? For one, you know, Wilmington is a hot spot that's going to continue to grow whether we like it or not. So take that for what it is. And really, you know, keep in mind that real estate is one of the strongest hedges against inflation. When thinking about renting a home, Look at that as 100% interest. Even though rates are higher this year than they were last year, if you're renting, you're paying someone else's mortgage. Now, one thing you'll hear a lot in my industry, especially over the last year or so, is date the rate and marry the home. <laughs> rates are going to come down eventually. So if you can qualify for a home and it fits your budget, get the home. Well, I guess the last thing I'd like to leave you with is a quote from the uh, National Association of Realtors on their 2023 forecast. While 2022 may be remembered as a year of housing volatility, 2023 likely will become a year of long lost normalcy returning to the market. Mortgage rates are expected to stabilize while home sales and prices moderate after recent highs. That's great information. It's a powerful quote and certainly appreciate you taking the time and sharing all this great information with us. Uh, it's always very interesting for me to hear the perspective of someone who's been in the industry for as long as you have been successful like you have, uh, especially in these, these challenging and, and uncertain times. Absolutely. Thanks to everyone who joined us. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does make a difference for us. Uh, if this was helpful, please let me know. Put something in the comments. If, if there's another professional that you would love to hear their insight on, uh, whether it's something that's on your mind or something that you've been hearing people talk about, let me know. I have a lot of those connections and alliances here at the firm, and we can certainly do more of these interviews if it's something that you like to hear. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group, LLC, NMLS 72043, NMLSconsumeraccess.org is equal opportunity lender, located at 600 Lynn Haven Parkway, Suite 203, Virginia Beach, Virginia 23452.